You gonna play on your phone or are you gonna do some work? I was waiting for you. <laughs> Lady. Okay, go. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'll go when I'm ready. <laughs> hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WeirdTesters.com YouTube channel. No special box with this one. I, I don't know why. You know, this is a brand new colorway. No box included. Well, I mean, there's a box, but like no special box included. Just the same old, same old for this one. Originally, I believe these were dubbed Starfish. I think they changed the name or something like that. They're the creamsicles. Not quite. Well, maybe. It depends on what brand of creamsicle you had. Creamsicles are kind of good. They're delicious. They're underrated. Oh my gosh. An orange Julius. Oh! Yo. Wait, creamsicle or fudge sickle? What are you grabbing? I don't like fudge sickles. Okay, so creamsicle. Even if it was a brand that you don't love? Yeah, because the taste taste is usually familiar. And uh, in case you were wondering, this shirt should be available right now along with the other Since 97 pack shirts over at senseapparel.com. They are gonna be available via pre-order. So if you wanted a pair, they're open for everybody. International shipping's always included. This shop will close on Sunday, so make sure to get your orders in. You got four days, countdown starts now. Anyways, these guys right here are a brand new pair of Air Jordan 5s, brand new colorway. They switch things up a little bit with the upper. I don't like it. However, the materials that are not that weird, whatever that is. The leather itself, super nice. So with that being said, what did they do to the outsole? What is that? A cream sickle. It is, it's super weird. I will say, when I was looking at this, I was like, you know, I wouldn't have minded this outsole on those women's 11 lows. Cause that was more in line with what they originally looked like back in the day. So if they did this here, why did they put that fluorescent bottom on those? Super weird. But I just think that there's too much orange too close to each other. It's a little much. I would have preferred that like yellowy translucent. I think that would have looked a little cooler. They did that on that uh, anthracite, right? No, I think they did. I think that's it. <laughs> I can't remember what the shoe's name was. They were black and gray. No, that's definitely the name of the shoe. I cannot remember the oh. sole. Yeah, the sole was kind of like milky yellow. Okay. I like those. I thought that those were like, that was a good look. However, it's still a traditional Air Jordan 5 outsole. So we got herringbone there. It is translucent rubber. You can see the giant jump man on there and it's fantastic. So that's just what it is. The midsole itself is polyurethane. Inside of the polyurethane, we actually have a four foot encapsulated air unit. And then in the heel, there is a visible Air Max unit which you can see right there because it's visible. For those of you guys wondering, the insole is ortholite. It's not polyurethane, so don't expect too much out of these. As far as the comfort is concerned, I will say that the midsole feels nice and soft as far as the polyurethane goes, but it's not gonna be like super comfortable like the OG colorway with the silver tongue, the fire red and all that stuff. So they do have that same shape though. I think that this shape looks better with the leather uh, builds. I think that this looks funny with the suede and the new buck builds. It's just too straight. This Rand right here, I know that you guys probably don't understand what I'm saying, man. Like I'm trying so hard to like explain with like images and stuff like that. But like this little thing right here, it wrapped up right here at the tip. You know what I mean? And so it doesn't like this part looks great. This one, it needs to come up just a little bit. It had this weird swoop to it. The, the five was very specific as far as its look, especially from the toe down view. I remember it well. This was one of those shoes that I found at Nordstrom Rack back in the day, the white metallic one and so I wore the out of those. And these just, when I look down, I'm like, that does not look like the shoe that I remember. <sighs> but it is that newer shape. So, you know, there you go. And there is no Nike Air branding on this particular release. It's just a Jumpman on the heel, Jumpman on the tongue, says Jordan on the bottom, and there you go. Now, as far as the upper goes, that's where most of the changes have come from this colorway right here. So the leather portions, like I was saying, super nice, super soft. You can just see the texture right in there. Like this wrinkly already, it looks great. I love it. And it's that sail color. So if you happen to like that look, then there you go. It's the entire thing. I will say though, I don't know what this is. It's plastic. It's kind of like gauze that you use to wrap up it an looks injury. Like a, it looks like a cast. That's exactly <laughs> what this looks like. Why would they do this? I just don't understand. I, they didn't even like talk about it in the description of the shoe. They just said that they switched up the materials a little bit. They didn't say why. So I don't know what this is for. All I know is that it looks and feels like shit. When you have so much nice leather on here and then you ruin it with these plastic sections, it's head scratching, dude. It's like, whose idea was that? At least keep the netting here and on there and then put that crap on the back only. They didn't even do that. This stuff is there, clearly. It's also on the tongue, so they took off all the breathability from this shoe. You know what it smells like under a cast? That's what these are about to smell like when you're done wearing them. Yeah. That's nasty. That's hella nasty. 
The only cool thing about this section right here, I will say, is that these pods are very soft. They feel like memory foam. And I believe that you can see the foam in the pods. So yeah, I don't know if this has anything to do with like that prototype colorway of the ones. You know, this is like graph paper or something. I don't, all I know is this is weird. At least they kept the reflective tongue. That looks good. It's also a little thinner, so it's not as puffy as the past couple of releases, so I like that too. Thinned out collar, thinned out tongue, newer shape. They're not awful, okay? There's some redeeming qualities. Again, it's a five, they look clean. It's just this material is like, uh, I don't even know, it's weird. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, you can go true to size, you should be good to go. However, this is that newer shape, so they do fit a little bit big, in my opinion. So if you did want a super snug one-to-one -one fit, go down half a size. Otherwise, true to size, you should be good. They will be available over at All Jordan brand retailers and if you're in the sacramento or elk grove area phenom 916 is going to have them make sure that you follow them on social to know what their launch procedures are i can't remember what that last release was what was it oh it was the jordan 11 lows uh the ie yeah in eight that's a i love those i thought that was going to be a raffle and they just posted that morning being like come first, and get them yeah first come first serve and everybody was like <laughs> you know, like that, uh, that Batman and Robin meme. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I just think it's hella funny that, you know, you, they keep you on your toes, man. I love it. So I will say that if it wasn't for the weird material thing, this is a nice colorway. I like them. Okay, I like them a lot. Go. They remind me of my dad. I don't, hold on, hold on. Before you <laughs> keep going, I don't know if you want to look at a pair of Jordans, a pair of fresh J's and be like, they remind me of they my dad. They remind me of my dad. The, Air, like... the Air Monarch, maybe? <laughs> Some Burks, maybe? No. But do you really want to be reminded of your pops? I do. Okay. Anyways, my dad, he's a huge SF Giants fan and I could see these mm. in a nice Giants outfit. I'll give you that. Game day. They're smart when they do something like that. What was it, like the orange? Orioles is the same color too. Okay, fine. <laughs> My dad wasn't an Orioles fan. Let me look it up. <laughs> I guess it could be theirs. Well, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not good. It, it's the same colors. Same. There's certain shoes where I'm like, oh, that's a 49er shoe. This one's a Giants. But if you're from Baltimore, it's an Orioles shoe. But I do agree with you. They are a nice colorway. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the material. Feel the material and then tell me if you like them. No, not that one. <laughs> the shitty material. Oh, this one? It doesn't bother me. Even up at the ankle area Go. where you're very precious about those things. I am. I'm not saying I'm wearing them, but I like the look of them. The only thing that I don't like like you were saying, this memory foam, the whole time you were doing your thing, and I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to see it. This memory foam is all wrinkled and I could see it and it was bothering me because I could also see this shoe at the same time and it doesn't have it. So something happened in the box. Did I do that? No, I'm pretty sure it was how it was laying in the box. So hopefully it'll like pop back out. I don't know. But actually I do like how this feels. It feels like a shoe that you totally just dumped on. These Pumas, mm. you know, that weird, you compared it to a duct tape type feeling. As the people on the interwebs would say, it feels very satisfying. Oh, I'll give you that. I just don't think that it looks very good. When it's coupled with such nice leather and then you remove, I really missed the netting. <laughs> like, <laughs> would you even take it crooked? They never did that with the fives. Oh, is that just on the that fours? That was on the fours. They didn't do it crooked, they did it straight. No, I know. And so it's it supposed was, to be crooked. So then it it was crooked according to what The original have been. look, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like the fours in that sense, like that, you know, screen mesh. But yeah, I just, I, I wish that the netting was here and on the tongue, I think I'd be able to handle this one. I think I could. I'm pretty sure I could get, through. I could get past it. <laughs> you know, this is not a shoe that I would be like, oh, sweet, you know, but I do think that they look good. I just don't like that material change. I would like to know what the reason was like a real reason i'm actually curious i'm not a shoe zombie mm. where i'm like oh i'll probably put those on stock x or go you're like the guy in ratatouille where he's the the critic and they're like if you're a guy who tastes food all day why aren't you fat and he's like because i only eat what i actually like <laughs> I, can't, I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm paraphrasing. But with, remember? With that voice. <laughs> I don't speak French. I don't think he did either. He has a French accent. Okay. They all do, except for Linguini. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Good luck if you're after a pair, you know, and that's pretty much it. Anything else? That's it. Nope. So with that being said, have a good one.